Hello there. Welcome to Zephyr's BI and Analytics, where we learn by building BI project. Today on this channel, I'm going to be walking you through an interesting supply chain management report I created with Microsoft Power BI. So if it's your first time on this channel, why don't you click on the subscribe button? Also, turn on your notification to always stay updated when interesting BI projects like this are uploaded on the channel. The report is a four page supply chain management report. On the first page of the report, we're going to be tracking KPIs around supply. On the second page of the report, we're going to be tracking KPIs around manufacturing and quality control. On the third page, we're going to be tracking KPIs around inventory and logistics. While lastly, on the fourth page, we're going to be tracking KPIs around sales and customers. The report is designed to be user-friendly. There's a great balance between the UI and interactivity, which provides key insights targeted to driving quick decision-making for the end user of the report. So attached to the video description, you're going to find a link to a OneDrive where you'll be able to get all the resources you need to create this report. You're going to find the data set. You're also going to find the PowerPoint file for the background images. You can actually make changes to that if you want to. And finally, you're going to find the data document. The link to my own report is also going to be attached to the video description. So, but before you jump right in, Come with me, let me walk you through my own reports. This is actually the first page of my report. Supply chain management, supply efficiency and management, the flow process and control. This is actually the um, page navigator. We're currently on the supply page. We can go to manufacture and quality control. We have the inventory and logistics and sales and customers. So the KPIs we're currently tracking for supply is actually the ordered quantity, um, the average lead, time in days, the, both for the supplier and the manufacturing. Then we have the total cost, the average um, defect rate. Now, while up here, we are assessing suppliers' performance across products supplied, average lead days, product quantity, and revenue generation. So with this, you can actually see the performance of each supplier across the different category. While down here, we're assessing the prices we get, the different product categories from this supplier. So you can actually look at the supplier that offers you the best price. You can then go ahead to look at the lead days, right? It will take you to get this product. Why um, here we're looking at uh, assessing our supplier's um, location, the total cost associated with each supplier across different um, locations. So with this, you can easily just um, make your decision right there on which supplier you want to go to for a particular product category or a different product category entirely. So this is actually the supply. Next, let's go to manufacturing and quality control. So for manufacturing and quality control, the KPIs we are looking at is actually the production volume, um, the manufacturing cost, right? The production efficiency, the average lead time in days and the average defect rate. While here, we're currently looking at the product type, which is cosmetics, right? So what we're basically assessing here is to look at the SKUs associated with um, the cosmetic product type. We then go ahead to look at the production volume against the target volume, the volume that we're supposed to actually produce against um, the target. So against what was actually um, produced. So we can easily see where we are actually meeting our targets or situations where we are exceeding our target or situations where we're performing below our target to easily guide us on making decision. That's for the end user. Then down here, actually I missed the title. Down here, you can see the defect um, associated with this supplier, then the defect rate by inspection results. Here, we're just trying to look at if there's a correlation between the production volume and um, defect rates. Remember, we have different product type. We also have the cosmetics. We have cosmetics, actually. We have the hair care, right? So we can select a different product and we can see the SKUs that are produced across um, the hair care. Then we can see, of course, here we're actually uh, meeting our target production volume. So next, let's look at the inventory and logistics, right? Inventory and logistics. So here we also have a particular product um, type selected, which is hair care, right? Now, the KPIs we're tracking for inventory and logistics is actually the stock health index the order fulfillment rate, which is the OT ordered quantity. Of course, we're also looking at the production volume and production efficiency. Now, 
In terms of logistics, we are looking at which route delivers most of the volume because we have about three different routes. Then we're looking at which transportation mode delivers most of the volume. So these are questions that are being answered automatically using these visuals, right? You can easily just see the percentage that is being delivered by a particular route and um, the percentage that is being delivered by a particular um, transportation mode. Right down here, you can select the KPI in total volume. We can actually switch to total cost across the um, different um, carriers, right? The different carrier, carrier A, carrier B, carrier C, and the transportation mode. You can see the cost associated with them. Then you can also go ahead to see um, the volume that was actually delivered also. Next, while right here, we're looking at the SKU, right? We're trying to assess our other, um, other table. This is more like the order table, right? So we're looking at the SKU, the quantity that was ordered, the stock level we currently have, the status, is it optimal? Is it critical? Then, of course, the availability percent for that particular stock. Like I said, we're looking at a particular product type here, which is hair care. So we can actually switch to a different product type, let's say skincare. We also then have the same thing. So this is for you to just adjust to see if you want to see the top. Um, this is the top 19. If you want to see the top five, if you want to see the top 25 um, SKUs, just like that. So with this, you can easily just make your decision right here without much um, stress. Next, let's look at the um, sales and customers, right? The sales and customer, because the flow process, you're actually manufacturing, you're getting um, raw materials, right? To manufacture. Then when you're done manufacturing, of course, there's going to always be a process of quality control. You always want to keep to um, the um, standard, the laid down standard for the particular product line you're manufacturing. Then of course, when you're done manufacturing your product, you'd want to ship them to maybe a temporary location in your warehouse. Then of course, you need to get this product also to probably the distributors you have that are distribu distributing this product for you. And you're going to be using different means of transportation, right? You're going to be using different means of transportation. In this case, you'll probably be using air, ray, road, or sea to get this product out there. Then of course, we have the final aim of this thing you're producing to sell, which is, you want to sell and whom are you selling your products to? The customers, right? So let's look at um, sales and customers. Okay, so the KPIs we're tracking here, we're basically just looking at the sold quantity, the total cost, the revenue generated, the profit and the profit margin. So right now we're looking at it across a particular product type, which is skincare, right? So this is actually the total sales. Now you're not looking at um, the sales for uh, skincare, right? You're looking at the sold quantity, the total cost, the revenue, the profit, the cost margin, and of course, the profit margin, right? For skincare. So you can also select a particular KPI here. You can switch from quantity to revenue, right? So when you switch to revenue, so we're currently looking at skincare and we're looking at evaluating revenue generated, which is revenue performance across the different regions. So this is um, Calcutta, right? So you're looking at the revenue generated by the different um, gender, female, male, non-binary, and unknown, right? So we're going to look at revenue. Why here, we're evaluating, um, okay, this is revenue generated also by, of course, you can see here that female actually generated most of the revenue, 79,241, right? Why unknown, actually 56,584, male, actually 54,644, then non-binary actually 51159. Then this is actually the breakdown across the different region by also the um, gender, customer gender, right? So we can switch from skincare product to say hair care, right? Then everything changes. You can see the sold quantity, the total cost, the total revenue, the total profit, the cost margin, the profit margin, right? Then you're seeing the sales but this is actually looking at revenue also, revenue across the um, gender, right? This, I just need to reduce the size. I was supposed to reduce the size so I can actually get the entire text. So of course, unknown is actually championing um, hair care, right? The gender is unknown. Most of the revenue generated are from unknown gender. Then we have the male, we have the non-binary, of course, the female also. This, we can easily fix this, that's fine. Then down here, of course, is still the breakdown by the different location. 
Next, we can go to um, skincare, right? Skincare. Then you see um, same information across skincare, right? You can also switch. Like I said, you can switch from this to, um, you can look at profit actually also. Or you can go ahead and look at costs, right? You can look at costs. You can also look at um, profit margin and all that. Then, of course, you can switch to a different product um, type, right? So that's basically it. That's uh, my report. This is just the concept I came up with. You can actually improve on this, right? You can improve on this. You can um, change some of the visuals to maybe more sitting visuals if you want to. Like this stream map I have here, I think I would want to make some adjustments on it. To probably reduce the text size and all that. Then, of course, we have the inventory and logistics layer. Then we have the manufacturing and quality control. Then, of course, the supply um, layer. So here you can also select a particular product type. So that's basically um, my supply chain management, supply efficiency, and management reports. Um, if you have any feedback, you can leave any feedback for me on the comment section. I'll be glad to get your feedback. Um, like I said, everything you need to create the video is actually on the link to the video description. There's a OneDrive. You'll find everything you need to create the um, reports, not the video. Everything you need to create the report, you find it there. Um, yes, I actually wanted to create a walkthrough video, but come on, it's actually a four-page report. It's going to take a lot of time. So I figured, okay, I can get you all the resources you need. I, I trust you guys to do a great work creating the report. You can also reach out to me if you have any issues, if you have any um, questions or any clarification you need to get. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if this video was helpful. So we'll see you again. Bye for now.